Hello guys, this is Michael Pavon with Camino Real Builders. Topic for today, home foundation. Conventional rebar versus post tension. The foundation is perhaps the most important part of your new home. Given the unstable nature of the Texas soils, you can be sure your foundation will shift and move as the soils underneath expands and contracts. This is normal. The key is to make sure the foundation moves as a single unit. Otherwise, the walls anchored to it can crack and separate. Concrete is very strong in compression, but very weak in tension, meaning it will crack when forces add to pull it apart. In conventional concrete construction, aka rebar, if a slab is subjected to heavy loads and the soil settles, the foundation will tend to deflect or sag, which can cause cracking. In other words, this piece of rebar here cannot be elongated, but more easily can be bent. So your foundation can settle in an uneven way, and that's the reason you see cracks on the walls, ceilings, or even on the flooring of your house. This is a typical post tension cable. On this side, we have the anchor that is installed before pouring the concrete. This other part goes to the outside. In this other side, we have the anchor that is installed after a week using a hydraulic machine, you can see that on the picture, uh, that gives 25 PSI of pulling tension to the cable. So post tension work using pulling forces to keep the whole slab together, making the risk of uneven settlements very improbable. Post tensioning will reduce cracking and keep any cracks that might form tight, preventing the entry of insects and reducing possible water penetration, which can damage flooring and cause mold. Post tension structures are designed to have a minimal deflection and cracking even under a full load it, because it's pulling. Uh, hopefully this helped you know, to, to, to make the right decision. Remember, the foundation of your house is what it sounds. It's the foundation. Thank you for watching guys. Hopefully it was interest for you to hear about the foundation. Topic for next week, brick versus stock. Pros and cons of each one. See you next week. Bye now.